Cincinnati City Hall will close for several weeks as COVID-19 cases keep climbing. Mayor John Cranley made that announcement this morning and our local 12's Clancy Burke joining us now live from the breaking news center to explain why health leaders are sending out a plea for help. Hi Clancy. Hey Liz, the bottom line, it is not looking good. Local doctors say we are on the brink of having to put a pause on all elective procedures if things don't get better. It is something we are seeing in other parts of Ohio, like in Cleveland a couple of days ago, and that could be us here in Cincinnati. Hospitalizations are higher than they have ever been. Earlier in the month, there were 27 patients in the ICU. This morning, there were 107 in our region. Clearly, you know, it's quadrupling. It is not good, and doctors are saying if we do not act now, it is going to get bad. This morning, leaders held a Zoom conference call. I'm talking local leaders like Mayor Cranley, also Denise Driehaus, and then also health experts, doctors, nurses. And one thing that was so clear is there is a sense of desperation in their voices. They are sending out the same message that they have been trying to get out there for months, telling people to wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands, limit social gatherings. But it's clear not everyone's listening to that and they're trying to find new ways to get people to listen because now the number one concern is staffing issues at hospitals where doctors and nurses, they're tired both mentally and physically. Dr. Helen Kaselka with TriHealth said she's used to helping people. That's what she does for a living. But now suddenly she is asking the public for help. Take a listen. We're tired. We're tired of seeing people who are struggling to breathe. We're tired of seeing the fear on the faces. We're tired of seeing people who were passing away, who were in their normal state of health just a few days prior. And now we're seeing it more and more every day. Mayor Cranley said he is trying to lead by example. So Liz, you mentioned it. He closed down City Hall for several weeks. He himself is also going to be working from home as much as possible. And he is asking everyone in the tri-state to work from home if you can. For now, reporting live in the Breaking News Center, Clancy Burke, Local 12 News. Thank you, Clancy. COVID-19 is spreading higher in some parts of Ohio than the U.S. as a whole, we are told right now. Ohioans are nearly two and a half times more likely than COVID or to get COVID-19 than in some other places such as New York. And the daily number of new COVID-19 cases in the United States has also now surpassed the 150,000 mark for the first time.